Have I discouraged you enough to not study economics? Hello, welcome to Honey of Knowledge. Wait. Yes, now I can begin. So why do you really want to become an economist? Now, why do you really want to study economics to be more precise? Do you want to become a central banker? Do you want to work for a big investment bank and work in their economics department? Do you want to study the macroeconomics of nations like the US? Now, you might say yes, yes, yes to all these questions. But do you really think that these things will come so easily? Do you really feel that you will study few textbooks, you will graduate from a college which promises to give you an economics education and you will be able to understand what's happening in the macro world of big nations, big companies, big industries. Now, you might say that yes, I will know, but do you really think education can give you that sense of the numbers? I remember that while I was doing my master's in quantitative economics at the Indian Statistical Institute, I asked my professor, rather I pleaded him, that how can I understand the macroeconomic dynamics of our country, India, or rather for that matter, any country. Now, he had a pretty simple answer, even he does not know that. And to tell you the truth, he is an old person who is an expert in trade economics and international economics so you can understand the amount of effort and amount of experience you require to understand anything about economy and yes there's a lot of intermix between the politics and the economics of any nation of any geography and without understanding the political motivations for any economic commentary, you will never understand what's really happening with the economy. So all your education, all your research, all your studies about the economy is not going to succeed if you do not understand the political underbelly of any kind of an economy. So there is a lot of imperfection which is ingrained into the system. So how do you plan to equip yourself with that kind of challenge so your education masters bachelors phd in economics do you really think that will give you sufficient exposure now i have not done a phd in economics so i cannot answer for the phd guys but i definitely feel that a masters in economics is really insufficient to understand the macroeconomic underpinnings of any economy of any nation of any big industry you really cannot understand the cycles of recession, boom and all those things which are talked in economy without getting dirty with numbers for a considerable amount of time. Because I remember that I was once talking to an economist at a big hedge fund and his understanding of economics was totally different to my understanding of economics. Now, his understanding was a bit like a heuristic understanding and it might be a bit imprecise, but my understanding was more theoretical and I would be more comfortable with my understanding, but he's even not wrong in his understanding because he is dealing with the numbers on a day-to-day -day basis. He is accountable to people who are investing money. So there's a lot of things happening in the economy which cannot be pinned down, which cannot be grabbed by the caller and made to confess to you theoretically, intellectually. You will have to rather invest yourself very deeply into it. Now, have I discouraged you enough to not study economics? If yes, I'm pretty much disappointed with you because if you love economics so much, that you clicked on this video and you are outraged by the topic of this video and now you have been persuaded away from studying economics then definitely you must not study economics because if your passion for the subject if your interest in the subject can be moved away from a video by someone like me I feel that you really do not deserve to be studying economics now yes I am speaking a lot of harsh words, I am giving a lot of judgmental ideas, but that's the truth. Economics needs a bit of philosophical bent of mind. Best place to learn economics is not economics textbooks, but the political discourse of a nation, the study of businesses, 
why few businesses rise and why few businesses fall and if i have to give you some kind of an economic thing to study rather study microeconomics if you study a lot of microeconomics your macroeconomics understanding will have some kind of a good foundation a lot of people when they think about economics they just think of supply and demand yes that is like a good starting point to study economics but you must understand that supply and demand only gets equal in the long term and in the long term we are all dead